Hi, I'm Libby Gibson, town manager. Welcome to what's going on in town government. We had a, ma uh, I'm trying to mix up the M words, marathon, massive, monster meeting last night at Board of Selectmen. We had a county commissioner's meeting first. There was discussion about Bartlett Farm Road. If you recall, there's been this issue with parking there and the, and the brewery. And to make a rather long story short, the brewery has entered into an agreement for off-site parking very close to the brewery, which will hopefully eliminate the need to park on Bartlett Farm Road. So the selectmen agreed, the county commissioners, to be confirmed by the selectmen, agreed that effective May 28th, which is after Memorial Day weekend, there will be no parking on Bartlett Farm Road, and people will have to park in this on-site um, uh, um, Parking lot. Yeah, I said off-site before. I mean off-site parking. A close lot next to the brewery. And it Is will be it, a parking the lot. the Bartlett sell it to them? Um, apparently, it's the powers that, that are selling oh. the land now. So there's been a <clears throat> bit of a change there. Anyway, that's going to happen. And they were the brewery was asking if the board would consider to allowing winter parking on Bartlett Farm Road. So the board said, not yet. We'll revisit it later. See how the summer goes. Uh, then we had our selectmen's meeting, and that was very lengthy. To make a long story short, I'll just tell you the highlights. Um, there was an update about last week's blizzard. Autism um, group came Anything in. Anything about the blizzard, though? It was fierce but quick. There was some inconvenience, some power outages around the island. It was all dealt with. One of the big issues was the drifting on Milestone Road and Pulpus Road. So we talked about getting on top of snow fencing properly placed on in, the, in those areas. We just haven't had this kind of snow for so long. Yeah, but, but I mean, how often are we going to, I mean, is it really I, I know. Make, spend the money on uh, fencing? And, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, come it, on. Anyway. Everybody should just stay home until yeah, they clear that's it That's right. And it was forecast to be very quick, and it, and it was. So we have two movies being filmed yeah. now, wow. soon, very soon. This movie called Peter and John, this is a Jay Craven movie. They came in and they wanted a noise bylaw waiver for some activity they're going to be doing. Uh, it's truck unloading and things. I'm not. I don't think it's filming exactly in certain areas of the downtown in in the month of April, um, very early in the morning, like 5 a.m. And they're going to be notifying neighbors. The other movie, Great Lady, the John Shea movie, they came in, they're going to be filming in April, May, and they came in to get a license for the filming on town property and use of town equipment, and that was approved. The board made some appointments, the Commission Commission and an appointment to the Airport Commission. We, they uh, adopted a, a code of conduct for our committee manual. We're going to be getting that out to all the board's committees and commission members, uh -oh. elected and appointed. Anything changing? Um, it's more detailed conduct. There was already a code of conduct in the manual. This is, this is more detailed, and it involves a statement of commitment that we'd like all of the people to sign. And we talked about the opening of Homic Pond, which is coming up. We talked about a wow. fast ferry shuttle that would be uh, sort of a trial fast ferry shuttle that would run this summer. We're hoping to get outside funding for it. So that was a Where's good discussion. It, from? it would run from two fairgrounds road where we're going to be improving the parking lot right downtown to the steamship in the High Line or oh, very okay. close by. Um, okay, and the big thing, as you know, that took place last night was an HDC appeal. As HDC appeals go, this was an exceptionally long appeal. I For, just in a in a cup, you know, frame it so that people who haven't seen it understand what. It so was. an HTC appeal <laughs> is when a a party is aggrieved by a decision of the HTC, and they have a certain period of time following the filing of an HTC decision to file an appeal. The appeal is to the board of selectmen, and the board then it's a public hearing. The board will find whether or not the HDC acted arbitrarily or capriciously, and it is not up to the board of selectmen to substitute their judgment for the HDC. So if someone thinks, "Oh, the HDC should have approved this," it needs to be based on arbitrary and capricious actions. If the board of select so the board's options are to uphold the HDC decision, to overturn the HDC, de HDC decision. Sometimes they remand it to the HDC, which means basically the HDC will take another look at it. If depending on the outcome of that, the appellant, the person making the appeal, could always their next step if they don't like that outcome is to go to superior court. 
go to, go to court. So this was an appeal of a, to, to make a very long story short, and I do mean a very long story, there's a roof walk that was approved on Walsh Street for a, a dwelling, and some is neighbors that, appealed that? it. Is Walsh Brandpoint? Street is in the Brant Point area. Some neighbors appealed the decision. They did not l agree with the decision to allow a roof walk. It's just a roof walk, or is it a, is it a, is it a kind of a cupola style? I, I believe it is just a roof walk. Just I, a, I believe. Okay. It was, it was Did they say detailed. why they don't like it? Well, they, they believe the HTC acted uh, inappropriately, is what... By allowing it, or just... just uh, by a approving it, and they were, they were... Watch the video. Yeah. There were a they lot of other issues that a, came a, in. in. You know, put them on TV and see what they're, you know, make a little show about it. There you think. go. Okay. I think that's a good, good idea. And then we can really find out what's wrong with this thing. There you go. I mean, it's just a widow's walk, right? Do you know it's a roof walk? Well, whatever. You're not supposed to say widow's You're walk anymore. You're not allowed anymore. to say that anymore? I, I, I don't know if it's PC. <laughs> oh, I That's what my, I heard. I gotta get my stuff together. Yeah, you do. Okay. Anyway, that took quite a while, and there were some other little things after that. Um, town meeting this Saturday, nine to five. There's a voter's guide. Looks like this. There's the warrant with the motions, which you should have gotten in the mail if you're a registered voter. By the time you see some of this, it might be over. Hopefully, over on Saturday. The sewer project getting done. Getting her done is what they're doing out there. Yeah, they, they're working hard. They're working very hard. And we, uh, the engineer just came in a few minutes ago and said that they are really hoping to get some paving done at the end of next week. You, you know what this has done, though? It has brought a lot of attention to roads that are not in good shape. Because, I mean, we've yeah. been dealing with these bad roads. Yes. And then we go to where they're not working, and we see how the roads are in there. There's some bad roads. Around. Well, it's mostly the potholes, I think. And they've oh, yeah. been exacerbated by the very bad winter. Yeah. The paver's out. The DPW's out. They're getting to them as, they, as quickly as they possibly can. All right. It's a bad winter. I mean, what are you going to do? Yeah, it was. Uh, next week, April 9th, the Board of Selectmen has its workshop session, and they have the topics of... A bulk fuel study, I don't have it very handy, it's over there. Um, we hired an, a consultant months ago to do a, a, a kind of a bulk fuel relocation feasibility study. We have a location out, out near the airport that we would like to move the tank farm to, the downtown tank farm. And the, the consultant looked at all the issues that would be involved with that, and, and there are some impacts on traffic. There would no longer be a... Um, a um, barge that would come in with the fuel. It would come in on tanker trucks, so that might have an impact on traffic. Anyway, the consultant will be here. He'll go over all of that. The draft report is out. We're going to get a link to it on the town website, hopefully today. The other item, the board discussed this a few months ago as well and asked the assessor to come in in the spring to talk about tax rate shift scenarios. So the town has three tax rates, commercial, residential, and open space. And you can shift those rates around. Um, and right now ours has been pretty much structured the way it is for a long time and, and there was some discussion about what happens if we shift it around. So she's going to come and review that. And that's what's going on. That is that is the tip of the iceberg though. There's a lot of stuff going on wow. right yeah, now. It really was quite a meeting. That was quite a meeting. I haven't... I, haven't, I enjoyed was, it though. It was full of you? drama. It was... Uh, it was drama. drama. It was very dramatic. It was. We haven't had a meeting like that in a while. But remember, Those we didn't meet healthy, last week. I think. That's a good, healthy meeting. That was a good, healthy meeting. You people, know, Some people just got it all out there. Exactly. They all let it go. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, anything else? What, that's, that's it. All right. It's good to have you back on. Uh, it's good to have you back on the island, Gino. Yes. I missed you, good. and I was worried about you. Well, we're happy to be back. Yeah. Okay. Um, thank you very much. See you next time.